Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Hebrews chapter 8, verse 6, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 9, and Psalms chapter 3, verse 5. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for your love. Thank you for your goodness that is outside of us, not dependent on us. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Hebrews chapter eight, verse six, but as it is, Christ has obtained a ministry that is as much more excellent than the old as the covenant he mediates is better since it is enacted on better promises. All right. And so, um, this is speaking of the fact that, you know, Christ is in the heavenly realm. He is a high priest of high priests. And he mediates the covenant, this new covenant that we have, right? Um, this new covenant that is much more excellent um, than the old, right? It says, but as it is, Christ has obtained a ministry. And so um, he did that by dying on the cross, right? He he went from this um, earthly realm to his heavenly seat. And so um, he then mediates this new covenant as his his job forever is to be high priest of high priest, mediating and um, um, obtaining and um, I'm sorry, not obtaining, um, enacting this ministry. And so it says that is as much more excellent than the old as the covenant he mediates is better. All right. And so um, he he knows that what he has to offer us is so much better than the old covenant. Right. Remember, when you start leaning on the law, you're leaning on a lack of relationship. Right. You're looking at rules and you're not listening for God's voice. You're not hearing his Holy Spirit. You're not trying to be led by him. You're trying to follow a book of so many rules that, it, you know, if you break one, you're considered a transgressor. Right. And so God is wanting us to stop leaning on the law lean on relationship, lean on the grace of God that he provided through his son. It says um, a ministry that is as much more excellent than the old as the covenant he mediates is better since it is enacted on better promises. So God knows what these promises are. God knows how to get them to you. He uses his Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us into all truth. And he is faithful to, to do everything that he said he would, right? And so um, this is better for us. This, this new covenant is much more excellent, right? And so um, it says, um, much more excellent than the old as the covenant he mediates is better since it is enacted on better promises. All right. And so the second verse that the Lord gave me was Ephesians chapter two, verse nine, not as a result of works so that no one may boast. All right. And so um, we know that um, when we are doing things for God, um, and, and our motives are wrong, you almost want to boast of what you did, right? And so um, God doesn't save us because we're good, right? If it were based on that, we would all fall short and um, our righteousness is as filthy rags, right? That would be the end of the story. But God did not save us based on the, any criteria that we have met he provided salvation while we were yet sinners, right? He died for us. It is not as a result of works that we have done, right? It was a result of Christ dying. And so it says, not as a result of works so that no one may boast. And so what does that mean? Um, Man wants to boast about salvation, right? Especially if he has some particular matter in it. But grace of God, the grace of God um, of, of salvation towards us is that it wasn't us. It wasn't us at all. The only thing we did was say yes. 
right? And the only thing that we did was accept Jesus as our savior and Lord. So no one can boast. No one can say that they're greater or lesser or anything because we're all on the same playing field. Once you have um, sinned one time, you are a transgressor, right? There is no other way around it. You have now fallen short in all the areas, right? And so our righteousness is as filthy rags, right? And so God is is wanting us to realize that none of us can brag, none of us can boast of having done so much. And, you know, that is for the the Bema seat judgment. That is for the the deeds, right? The the rewards that you're gonna receive in heaven. But as it relates to eternal life, no right? No, that there's nothing you could have done to have contributed to it except for say yes, right? Christ did it all. He paid it all. Amen. All right. The third verse that the Lord gave me was Psalms chapter three, verse five. Lay down, I lay down and slept. I woke again for the Lord sustained me. All right. And so this is just speaking about the fact that, you know, Christ is the one who is our sustainer. He's the mediator of that covenant, right? He's the one that we can't boast because he did it all, right? And so if you read here, you know, in Psalms uh, 3, this is David running from his own son, Absalom, right? And and he is in a place of, of um peace even though he's on the run right he's in a place of safety and putting his trust in the lord even though he's on the run so it wasn't that the weapon wouldn't form but that it wouldn't prosper right it says i lay down and slept i woke again for the lord sustained me wow so god kept him even in his um most vulnerable state god kept him right? God kept him. He allowed him to have that peace. He allowed him to sleep. He, he allowed him to, to do what it was that, um, he needed to do, which was be replenished, um, and, and keep on going, keep on running, right? We have to realize it's not all about you. It's not all about us. It's about the kingdom. It's about, um, getting those results, um, of, of that mediation of those covenant promises, right? And, and it wasn't anything that we did. The only thing we did was say yes, right? The only thing we did was say yes, and we can partake in this, um, greater, more excellent covenant. Amen. Because Christ is the one who did it all. He paid it all. And, and all we have to do is say yes. And that's every man, woman, you know, on the earth, right? It's, it's all about, you know, receiving him as Lord, um, not doing, um, a whole bunch, but, but believing first, having that foundational core of belief, believing God and it being accounted to you as righteousness. Amen. And so we did that. We accomplished that through Christ Jesus. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for obtaining this ministry, blessing this ministry, keeping us in this ministry, Lord God, this new covenant, this more excellent covenant. Lord God, we give you all the praise. We ask you, Jesus, to just help us to not boast, not be proud but to be humbled at your presence, Lord Jesus. Help us to lie down and rest, Lord God, and be able to get back up, having peace all through the night, Lord Jesus. We know that you are the giver of all things good and perfect, good and perfect gifts. We love you and we praise you in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you would like to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. 
Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. And he's going to do just that. Amen. One of the things that Christ wanted us to do and not forsake was the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. Go out, find a church home, find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God, as well as go out and tell other people about Christ and what he's done for you in your life. Amen. Also, um, don't forget to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. All right. Take care and be blessed.